hello everyone welcome back to my channel chemical education today i'll solve one major and minor loss, losses problem so here is the problem on that exercise problem for a flow rate of 6 liter per second find the elevation z1 when the water travels from a large reservoir to a small one through a 50 mm diameter cast iron piping system as depicted in figure below so this is the large reservoir so reservoir one and this is the another reservoir reservoir two now water is coming from reservoir one through 50 mm diameter cast iron pipe in that uh, cast iron pipe system elbow is there one elbow here here another elbow that is 90 degree elbow one gate valve is there and then uh, it is connected with another reservoir okay so water is coming from large reservoir to that second reservoir now here uh, we have to calculate what will be the z1 so if this is the datum line we take this is the datum line now what will be the z1 and z2 is given that is 4 meter and that 90 degree elbow that minor losses coefficient is also already given 0 0.3 diameter of the pipe is given 50 mm and from uh, in that the pipe is not a straight pipe so pipe is horizontal then go down then again straight pipe so from here to this uh, that from this first horizontal pipe to the second horizontal so the distance is 9 meter and the total distance from tank 1 to tank 2 means uh, tank 1 to tank uh, 2 that is 80 meter and exit uh, that uh, measured loss coefficient that is given 1.06 now from here we have to calculate that z1 now that fluid is fluid is here water we have to calculate z1 that is the elevation now how do we solve this problem first this is the problem so in that problem so point 1 and point 2 first uh, we can use the Bernoulli's equation from that Bernoulli's equation we can uh, calculate z1 so now going to the next uh, here so apply Bernoulli's equation point 1 and point 2 so we know Bernoulli's equation is nothing but p1 by rho g plus v1 square by 2g so in that point 1 p1 by rho g v1 square by 2g plus z1 is equal to p2 by rho g so in this point 2 and plus v square by 2g plus z2 plus hf h is is major losses major losses and hm is minor losses so this is the bundle's equation now here uh, p1 by rho g is spacer head uh, the unit is meter v1 square by 2g is kinetic head again the unit is meter z1 is potential head the unit is meter obviously measure head loss and minor head loss also that uh, unit is major uh, not sorry unit is meter now apply Bernoulli's equation now here that the pressure is open to atmosphere 6.1 and 0.2 also pressure is open to atmosphere so p1 by rho g is nothing but is equal to p2 by rho g is equal to atmospheric pressure now as in the point one no, no flow is there so and a point, a point two also no flow so v1 is equal to v2 is equal to zero now ultimately so ultimately that Bernoulli's equation will be here so p1 by rho g will be nothing uh, means equal so cancel out both side v1 and this will be zero p1 and v2 is zero so that will be cancelled out so we have z1 is equal to z2 plus hf hm so here z1 is equal to z2 plus hf plus hm now uh, we know from that darcy waste patch formula so hf is nothing but del p by rho is equal to 4f into l by d v square by 2g so del p by actually rho g uh, so that is hf uh, that 4f uh, del p by uh, rho g is equal to 4f l by d v square by 2g now minor loss 
minor loss is nothing but uh, that HM HM is a minor losses so that is uh, HI HI means entry entrance effect then two each elbow two elbow is there so because of two elbow there will be some minor losses there will be get valve because of that there will be some losses and exit exit effect so that is HLO so here four minor losses so one is exit uh, entrance effect then two uh, uh, elbow and one get valve and exit effect so that is the minor losses now so first we, we know we have to calculate so z2 is given z2 is 4 m 4 meter okay so now we have to calculate hf and hm then we will get the h1 so now we have to do one by one so first data given so fluid is nothing but a water density of water is oh we know thousand kg per meter cube viscosity of water that is mu is 0 0.01 poise we can take uh, 0 1 poise so 0 1 poise is nothing but 10 to the power minus 3 pascal second and diameter of the pipe is given 50 mm so we can convert that 50 by 1000 meter and cross sectional area of the pipe we can calculate pi by 4 d square so pi by 4 50 by 1000 square so that is 0 0.0020 meter square now discharge discharge is given is equal to discharge through pipe 6 liter per second so 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube per second that is given the average velocity v bar is nothing but q by a so q by pi by 4 d square so 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 and pi d square we already calculate cross section area so 0 0.0020 meter square so from here uh, we can easily calculate what will be the velocity velocity is 3.0558 meter per second now what will be the total length of the pipe so that is important so total length of the pipe so from reservoir 1 to reservoir 2 the distance is 80 meter so from here to here uh, if you take that so that is 80 meter and there is a some uh, that uh, pipe first horizontal pipe then it will go down and then again horizontal pipe so horizontal distance is 80 meter then vertical distance is 9 meter so total length of the pipe is 80 plus 9 so 89 meter and then moc material of construction so pipe is a cast iron pipe so if you go through that here so in the problem it is given the material is cast iron pipe okay so that is given now i can go that here okay sorry that is cast iron pipe cast iron pipe piping system so in that cast iron pipe so cast iron pipe that uh, that roughness roughness is nothing but cast iron pipes that 0 0.0083085 or 0 0.26 uh, so that is in the need required for calculate the friction factor okay so now we are here uh, okay so that material of construction of the pipe is cast iron so roughness of the pipe the cast iron is 0 0.026 meter uh, getting from the roughness table so that we already shown to you and so from here we can easily calculate relative roughness so that is epsilon by d epsilon is the roughness so a relative roughness is epsilon by d is 0 0.26 mm by 50 mm so that is 0 0.0052 it is required to calculate friction factor okay now first we have to calculate the reynolds number reynolds number is rho d v bar by mu v bar we calculate from here 3.0558 meter per second so here now we plug all this parameter parametric value rho d v bar mu so after plugging all this rho is 1000 d is 50 by 1000 in and velocity 3.0058 mu is 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 so we will get reynolds number is 1.529 into 10 to the power 5 so it is a turbulent flow and Reynolds number greater than 4000 so we can't use uh, that f is equal to 16 by re because that is laminar flow so it is a turbulent flow as Reynolds number greater than uh, uh, 4000 so we can calculate friction factor for by modi chart okay uh, to calculate major losses so from modi chart we can calculate uh, f so if i get f so then we can easily calculate what will be the major loss that that uh, we can uh, yeah, we can plug all this value we can easily calculate now how do we calculate friction factor from modi chart now we have uh, we already know uh, we already know the reynolds number uh, relative roughness so from that we can easily calculate uh, friction factor from modi chart now here in that modi diagram we can calculate 
monitor from the monitor diagram we can calculate friction factor so now here the relative roughness relative roughness we got from this earlier equation that is 0 0.0052 and the reference number is 1.5279 not into the power 5 now here uh, okay so this is something that EYD value and here uh, so that curve here 0 0.006 curve blue curve is like that and here also another curve and Reynolds number 1.59 into 10 to the power 5 so this is here so now if we go here and here so that will meet this point okay so here now from this point if we go to the left so we will get that friction factor so friction factor is roughly 0 0.03 or 0 0.29 something like that so we can easily get from this Modi diagram so now here uh, we already got uh, when I we apply the Bernoulli's equation z1 is equal to z2 plus hf plus hm so this is major losses and this is minor losses okay so major losses hf is equal to 4fl by dv square by 2g so f we got so, so here uh, that is uh, 0 0.0077 because okay so here this is f is equal to 16 by re so this is nothing but darcy fd fd is equal to 0 0.029 something like that so from here we know fanning friction factor is uh, that 4f is equal to fd so fd f will be fd by 4 okay so if we apply this formula we will get the friction factor so here friction factor is so fd we got something 0 0.029 so f is actually that uh, fd by 4 so that is nothing but 0 0.0077 something like that so now if we got the friction factor l we know d we know v square by 2g we know so we got that hf 4 into 4f l by d 89 by 55000 so we'll, we get 26.2619 meter now minor losses minor losses so we, we I, I already talked about that so minor losses here loss head at entrance of the pipe and then loss head for two elbows and loss head for valve and globe uh, one one get value is there and loss head at exit five so now loss head at the entrance five so hi is nothing but so we know that loss head at entrance five that formula 0 0.05 into v square by 2g so v square we know so 0 0.05 so remember that okay so if we remember this formula then we only we can calculate loss head at entrance pipe so hi is equal to 0 0.05 into v square by 2g so we plug all this value we will get some losses minor losses due to loss of head at entrance of the pipe now loss at head of the two elbow so two in the two elbow h elbow so that is is nothing but kl v square by 2 kl value is given here so 0 3 okay so 0 0.05 sorry 2 into 0 0.03 into v square by 2g so that will give that 0 0.28 0 0.2856 meter and loss of head for valve so that is kl v square by 2g so that kl value is given 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 0 0.02 into 10 uh, in, into v square by 2g so we got the loss head for valve is 0 0.0952 meter a loss of head at exit pipe so that formula is k2 v square by 2g so that that exit uh, coefficient okay minor loss coefficient is given 1.06 so v square by 2g so that is 0 0.505 for meter so now if we add together so we will get minor losses so in the next slide here we add so z1 uh, is equal to z2 plus hf plus hm and z1 is nothing but z2 hf hi plus 2 elbow then get valve then uh, that exit effect so if we plug uh, all this parametric value all this value so ultimately we will get z1 is nothing but 31.3851 meter so z1 is nothing but 31.3851 meter so now this is the one type of problem uh, to get the elevation or ele if elevation is given sometime uh, question asks calculate minor loss major losses okay so that way we can solve uh, this type of problem. That's it. Thank you.